Hey, Jacob here from Cutthroat Anglers again. Let's get right into it. So today we are going to be talking about the Pertagon style nymph, a uh, pretty popular style of nymph these days. Originated in Spain uh, from, by Euro nymph anglers. The whole point of them was that they're going to be a nice aerodynamic shape and normally pretty heavy so that they're going to cut down through the water column nice and quickly, especially in swift, deep water. Um, it's going to imitate a nice nymph or larva shape, uh, normally a little bit flashy to get to get attention in that deep water, and also they are nice and simple, so not too tough to tie, and you can you can tie a lot of them fairly quickly. All right, so this example part of gun we have on the vise here is actually from our fly bins at the shop. So let's see what I can do about recreating one in my own style. Um, but I'm also going to highlight a few products we have at the shop that you can use to tie these things. Alright, let's talk about some of the tools and materials that we're going to need to tie some Pertagon style nymphs today. Uh, for the hook, we're going with a size 16 jig hook and a 2.3 millimeter slash 3 30 seconds of an inch black nickel tungsten bead. Then, uh, you're going to need your standard tying tools like scissors, bobbin, uh, etc. Uh, another good one to have for this is a bodkin, basically a pointy little needle. Um, you're going to get glue or resin all over it, so you're going to have to either scrape it off or not care about getting glue or resin on whatever bodkin you use. Um, another really important thing we're going to need for this these Pertagon style nymphs are a few different kinds of UV resin. We're going to need two kinds of clear UV resin, a thinner variety and a thicker variety. For the thin variety, we're going to use Loon's UV Flow fly finish. Um, really nice thin resin that cures up with not much tack, not much sticky, stickiness to it. Um, for our thicker UV resin, I'm going to be using uh, Loon's UV Not Sense. Most people don't use that for tying resin, um, but I like it a lot. You could use Loon UV Thick as well if you wanted there. Um, the other main thing you're going to need is some nice thread. Um, Vivas's. 10-0 is what I'm going to be using today. Uh, we sell this at the shop. Really nice thread. Um, super strong for its diameter. Lays down nice and smooth. Going with a purple color for this Pertagon that I'm going to tie right now. Then one other uh, material we're going to be using today, or a lot of Pertagons use these as well, is some holographic tinsel. Um, basically just some nice flashy tinsel uh, available in a variety of colors with a cool uh, holographic shine to it. And then another classic material in the Pertagon is going to be the Coque de Leon feather, a, uh, a genetically bred, uh, genetically bred bird specifically for these feathers, which make really nice fine tail feathers. I uh, just got these back in the shop. They've been out of stock for a long time in, uh, in a lot of places. These ones are Spirit River UV dyed ones, but in a natural color. Um, really nice Coque de Leon we just got in, so uh, if you need some, we got it couple different colors too. Some nice crazy blue. And then the last thing, uh, last product I'm going to be using uh, that we also have available in the shop. Um, maybe not a traditional material these uh, for these nymphs, but I like it a lot. It gives a nice, uh, gives a nice segmented look to your nymph. Uh, kind of adds some realisticness to the uh, flashiness of the Pertagon. Um, turkey bite, stripped turkey bite. You're basically going to wind these feathers around the hook to create a segmented body. All right, first we're going to tie in the thread right behind our bead. Next thing you want to do is lay down a very, basically a one layer thick ba thread base along the hook. You don't want to build up any extra bulk on this because we want to keep the back end especially very thin here. It's about as far as I'm going to take it right into the start of the bend of the hook there. Come back up about three quarters of the way. Then we're going to take some of our Spirit River Coque de Leon. I'm using uh, the natural UV barred color here. Going to cut uh, probably three to six fibers. Try to keep the tips pretty even. A little bit of variance doesn't hurt. It's actually kind of nice. I like to tie my tails in pretty long, but. Just uh, pay attention to how long you're making your tails back there. I like to make sure to keep these right on top of the hook shank as I tie them in backwards. Then I'm going to bring those right to that point where I stop my thread base. 
Then from there, I'm gonna build up a little bit of a thread body, thread taper, thicker up at the bead, um, tapering down towards, I'm not gonna add any more thickness down here at the very end of it. That part of the fly is pretty much done now. So I'll build up some taper towards the bead. Try to get close to the thickness of that bead. Don't need to take it all the way there, at least yet. Once you got a little bit of a taper going there, um, we're gonna need to tie in a few more materials. First thing we're gonna tie in is gonna be that stripped turkey biot. Uh, with these with these turkey biots, the trick is they have a ridge on top or on one side of the feather. Uh, that's gonna create a nice segmented look. You have to make sure that that segment is in the back of the wrap as you wrap it forward. To achieve that, I tied in with the ridge of the feather pointing up. And what that is gonna do is, I'm gonna give it a one half twist as I wrap it on my first wrap and that's gonna flip that top edge into the back of the wrap. But first we have to tie in some holographic tinsel. Tie that into that same point where you tied in your turkey by up. Then wrap it forward, just coat the body, give it that nice purple holographic shine. One tool that is definitely uh, very helpful when tying with biot is a nice uh, biot plier. So I tied it in with the ridge of the biot facing up. I'm going to grab it with my pliers and then as I wrap it, I give it that half, that half turn as it goes over and it puts that ridge in the back. And then you want, as you wrap forward, you want to try to leave some space in between your wraps so that you get that nice purple holographic tinsel showing through. Once you get up to the bead, tie off your turkey biot. Build up a few thread wraps there. And then whip finish, and you have essentially finished the actual tying part of the purdy gun. The rest of this fly is going to be tied with UV resin. Um, I am going to come in with a little bit of marker. It is nice to keep a few markers handy when you're tying purdy guns. Um, what I'm going to do is I want to create a uh, kind of hot spot wing case with this purple thread and um, have the rest of it be a little more natural, a little more brown or black. So hitting some brown marker on the what's going to be the underside of this fly when it's in the water jig flies right upside down so this is going to be the bottom of the fly this is going to be the top of the fly I want a nice little purple hot spot for the wing case there so hitting the underside with marker brown and even a little bit of black You can color the bead a little bit too if you want a little darker. Then we're gonna come in with our UV flow, our thin resin, and we're gonna basically coat this whole nymph with a thin coating of thin UV resin. Then take your bodkin, kind of smooth that out over the entire body. It does help to have a rotary vise to keep this resin smooth. Rotating it helps to helps the resin to lay down in a nice smooth layer. Once you got it kind of smoothed out there, grab your UV light that you have handy and rotate the fly while you hit it with the UV light. And that's our first layer of resin. What we want to do now is build up the head of this fly thicker with our thick resin, which like I said, UV not sense is what I'm using. Could use a uh, Loon UV thick or definitely a variety of other resins out there. Come in with your bodkin again. Smooth and rotate, and rotate while you hit with the light. And there you have a Spanish Pertagon style nymph. You can see how it just doesn't have any soft tackle to get caught up in any water currents. It's just aerodynamic and a nice heavy little bead on there. It shoots right down through the water. A little bit of flash in there underneath a realistic body shape. Definitely can catch a lot of fish once you give it a try.